Hey guys, it's Tepper Psych Repair, and I'm just going to do a follow-up video on the uh, throttle position sensor tester. Now, um, I did a video about how to make one on your own for, for a few bucks. You can check it out in the description below. Please hit that link and go check out that video. But uh, I want to do a better job for you guys describing what the throttle position sensor is and why it's important to have it set right. Um, so first of all, in a carbureted bike, you have uh, your carburetor with um, jets in it, and when the air passes through, when you open up the butterfly by giving it gas, air is going to pass through. The faster it passes, the more gas it sucks through, okay? It gets metered like that. With a fuel-injected bike, it's different. You have to tell a computer how much fuel to, shoot, to inject by the throttle position that you're in, all right? So when you turn on that throttle, all right, it's going to open up the butterfly. More air is going to pass through, but the carburetor, I mean, sorry, the um, computer doesn't know how far you're turning the throttle without having a throttle position sensor sensing how much that butterfly is open. All right, so when you turn that butterfly, it senses how much rotation that is open, and then it sends that to the computer, which then sends it to the ejector and injects a certain amount of fuel. So the reason you need to have it um, adjusted properly is that if you take that throttle position sensor and uh, let's say on this on this uh, CRF 450 right here the ideal um, reading is a 0.45 volts to 0.51 volts if you're at the 4.5 area you're lean and you're at the 5.1 you're more rich so if you set it up say to 0.52 you're going to be a little too rich and the bike might not even start. 5.3, it's not going to start. You're going to be flooding the bike out because it thinks that the throttle is slightly open. So you'll have the, the throttle completely closed, butterfly is shut, minimal air is coming through, but it thinks you're all the way at you know, that 0 0.5 through uh, 3 reading. So it thinks that it's open a lot more, so it's dumping in more fuel. So it's going to flood, okay? Now, if you're all the way down at 4.1, 4.0, it's going to be too lean and it won't want to start because it's not getting enough fuel to start. So you'll have to choke it and hopefully it'll start and, uh, you know, you'll be at the lean end. Now, when the bike is riding, just like a jetted bike on a carburetor, if you have the bike jetted rich, it's going to kind of act slow and, and flat, you know, kind of boring. So with a fuel injected bike, if you have it all the way towards the rich side of it, so you're above the outside of the area, it'll not only run rich, it's probably going to kick on a, uh, a light on the on this bike it's got the little on the kill switch it'll blink and tell you that it's got a uh, throttle position sensor light on all right so that throttle position sensor is mounted to the side of the throttle body the butterfly is here and you can you can go ahead and turn this back and forth without the butterfly moving all right so when the butterfly moves it reads it and it sends it in. now the reason that you need to make a tester is because most bikes like this one don't have a battery so if you have to send power to the throttle position sensor in order to get a reading out of it um, some bikes, you if you can get to the back part of the throttle position sensor, you can just kind of stick probes in the back of it, fire the bike up, and get your reading off for it. You don't have to take anything off. This bike, it's way too tight. You can't do that. So uh, that's why you need the tester. But just wanted to give you guys kind of a, um, a, a little bit more info on that throttle position sensor, what it does, why you need to um, you know, adjust it properly, and uh, you know what it's doing there for you. So hopefully that makes sense, guys. Until next time. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for further notifications. This is Typical Cyber Repair.